Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be starting with the Magic Cream. Just rubbing this all over my skin. And um, this is to set as like a primer or base for my foundation. Well, not a foundation because it's more like a natural kind of makeup look today. Um, very minimal-esque if you want to say. Um, but I think this is such a gorgeous base. It's my first time kind of using it, but it's really, really nice. Next, going into the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Use this in the shade number four. Um, just using this on the high points of the face itself. Um, this is such a lovely, it is a primer as well. Um, or you can use it on top of your foundation, but it just is so gorgeous. Gives such an illuminating, um, glowy look to your face um, without any effort. Um, I'm using just my Morphe sponge, uh, which is dampened. To just blend this all into the skin, just to kind of, make sure that it's all blended out nicely and it's not kind of a few like dark patches on my face. Now going into the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Porcelain and just kind of covering any dark kind of red areas of my face. Um, so as you can see like under my eyes, just the usual spots that I would conceal. Um, as I said, this is a minimal look. So it's kind of more so just to make sure that you get the full coverage but you're not using any kind of foundations or anything on top of it. So, and then I'm going in with my Morphe sponge just to blend this in. Um, I love these sponges so much. Um, I've never actually used the Beauty Blender one, so maybe I'm being a bit biased. So, but it's really, really good. It's only, I think it was about five, six euro, I think. Um, but they're really good. Such a nice, um, easy blendable sponge. So if you're in the mark for it, definitely check out Morphe for their sponges. Next, going into my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number one. This is the fair shade, so it's the lightest shade that Charlotte Tilbury has. Um, this is such a blur and primer, or primer? No, <laughs> blur and powder, um, but it's so nice uh, to just, for an everyday kind of look, um, it kind of just sets the skin and just makes sure that you don't have any like pores visible on your skin itself and um, I just dust this all over because obviously I'm not using any foundation so I just want to make sure that any creams that I've put down that I'm kind of making sure they're all set. Um, going in now with my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and um, just to bronze up the face a little bit just to kind of give a bit more definition to the skin and um, nothing too much uh, it's just to kind of give a bit more shape and um, to the face itself just so it's not like a flat surface that you're looking at and um, I just love this bronzer so much and it's so easy so easily buildable and um, is a little bit expensive but it is really really nice I have to say and um, going in now with my blush this is the cheek to cheek or cheek to chic um blush from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade ecstasy and um, this is such a gorge blush it's kind of more of like a peachy kind of pinky tone it has two kind of uh, like a smaller little round in the center and then the outside but it just blends so nicely into your bronzer and gives such a nice little sun kissed kind of look and um, brightens up the cheeks a lot and um, going in with the bar of gold palette and um, which is Charlotte Tilbury's highlighting palette and um, just going in with kind of the more goldy kind of shimmery color on it and um, just to highlight the face so the standard the huge, you know, um, the tip of the nose, then the bridge of the nose on the lip and then the higher points of the cheek and on my chin as well and over the eyebrow as well actually because I love a bit of highlight over the eyebrow because it just, it ties it all in together, just melts it all into the skin, makes you look so beautiful. But just, it, it's such actually really, this is my first time actually using I got it at Christmas so it is really, really nice and I've just got too much stuff. Um, but going in now with my NYX London Lip Liner, just to oh, overline, uh, uh, basically get to it, I overline my lips, of course. Um, so to overline the lips, um, this is such a nice, like neutral kind of nude colour. So it's nothing too like kind of dark browny where you're looking for like, obviously to define the lips, it kind of just melts nicely into the lipstick that I'm going to use. So I would definitely recommend these. They're so creamy, so nice to apply, and uh, just easily they last really well on the on the lips as well. I have to say, they're not too. They're not expensive either. I think they're about five euro. So, I definitely would definitely recommend them. 
or them or the pennies the pennies ones are really good as well have to say they're so inexpensive I think they're like 150 or something so going in now with the dose of colors x katie club this is the lipstick in the shade hey girl um which is just such a gorgeous peachy nude color and um, i just like to pat this on because as i said it's more natural so just a light layer going in with my brow pencil now uh, which is the benefit precisely my brow and um, this is such a fine tip uh, pencil so it just gives nice little strokes i use this in the shade number four um, and it just kind of feathers the brows nicely just to make sure that you're I don't like to overdraw them too much when I'm doing minimal makeup and um, so this is definitely the best pencil and um, if you're in the market I know it is a little bit more expensive than some like other brands maybe like the NYX ones or the Penny's ones and um, but it is really really good and I've like literally been converted since I've started to use it and it's so gorgeous it just oh, I don't know like how can I even explain it just so nice and um, I then went in with the uh the setting uh gel as well I didn't record that so just to let you know but that is the finished look guys I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and um, I'm showing you a little bit of a model <laughs> it's me just posing um but yeah I hope you really enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching don't forget to follow me on my Instagram as well which is Kira Orla Dunn 